Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Let's flip some thrifted items for resale. My granddaughter's over and we're trying to find some fun projects to work on. She always loves painting projects and things like that. So I knew I had these in my stash. I've been saving them for this time of year because I wanted to make some pumpkins. So I paid a couple bucks for these at a local thrift store and thought that these would be fun. So I got uh, two, four, six, eight of them all together. So that would make it so we could do four of these if we put them together. So we're going to make some nice chunky pumpkins with these. So we're going to glue the two inside pieces. I'm going to add some hot glue and put those together just like that. And it makes a perfect shape for a really cute pumpkin. Now I had to do this a few times because the glue does not like the, the metal, but it finally did stick once I got enough glue on there and they worked out great. The first thing I want to do is, of course, these are going to be primitive pumpkins, so I'm going to give them a coat of black paint. So when we put our orange paint over the top, we're going to have little peeky boos of black, which is going to be fun. So we, I just covered this whole thing. I think just one coat did it. I don't quite remember. I think it was just one coat. And then uh, once it was dry, I handed it off to my granddaughter, and she wanted to dry it with the heat gun and then we were able to paint it with the orange paint, which was her job. So my granddaughter took uh, the paintbrush and just started painting it, and she's not used to getting her hands all dirty with paint, and uh, so it was kind of funny because she's like, Grammy, I'm getting all dirty, and I was like, it will wash, don't worry, and uh, so she had a lot of fun doing this. So we ended up doing two coats of this orange paint. I don't know, it was like some kind of acrylic paint I got from the store. And we just painted away the afternoon. It was lots of fun. So once we got the two coats on there, she wanted to do her own pumpkin, which was totally fine. And I gave her a little brush and some black paint and she wanted to make a little face on hers and evidently with long eyelashes. And then I think she made fangs that went down the front or something. So I don't know, she was getting creative and it was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna just kind of keep that in here, creating her own little pumpkin face and stuff. It was fun for her. So uh, we went out and got some sticks and she broke them over her knee so that she could, uh, get those little stems in the pumpkin and then we added some hot glue and that held that in there and while it was still hot I took a little bit of Spanish moss and put some hair on there and then she had a lot of fun cutting cutting his hair and making it just the way she wanted. I took my other three pumpkins that I had once they were dry and added some antique wax to the outside covering the whole thing. Then I went back and wiped it back to give it a more aged look. And that also pulled back some of the orange paint so that the black would come through. And I think this came out really good. Once that was done, we added some stems to that. I added some hot glue and then put the stems in. And now we're giving it a little bit of hair, in quotes, uh, to give it a little bit of a rustic look. And then my granddaughter's gonna take the scissors and give it a little trim again. I had to watch her because she really wanted to cut that short. And I was like, I like them sticking out. <laughs> but anyway. We had fun with this, and now she has her own little pumpkin. I sold the other three on Whatnot, and they went pretty darn quick. I have some stamps and a piece of just linen fabric that's been tea stained, and I'm gonna do fall. on this, on just the end, there we go. And then what I wanna do, 
I'll take a little bit on this brush. This is a makeup brush. I'm just adding a little bit of my stamp pad on there to distress it a little bit more and give it a more aged look. And then I tie it onto my little stem with the fall sticking out. And I think that gives it a nice touch. I love the shape of this wall pocket from Goodwill. I paid $3 for it. And I'm not a huge fan of hearts on decor. It's just a personal preference. I rather have stars. But I really thought this was cute. I liked the star uh, the heart cut out in the front. It had a little bit of a um, chicken wire or hardware cloth over that. And I thought it looked really cute. So I picked it up and wanted to do a little decoupaging on the front of it and give it a... I don't know, kind of a fall romantic look. In order for the decoupage paper to look good on the front and to brighten it up a little bit, I added some off-white paint so that my paper would look good. And then once I did that, I took my fusion paint called Woodwick. I love this color. It's a brown gray paint. And I added that to the sides, the back, and the bottom. I'm gonna use my crackle stamp that I got from IOD, one of them, I think it's one of four, and I'm gonna add a little bit of black paint to this so that I can add some crackle underneath my decoupage paper. It's a little bit see-through, so you'll be able to, a little muted, but still see some crackle underneath there. The paper is a little bit plain, and I thought this would be really cool to stick underneath it, give it some more depth, and I don't know, I just thought it would look good. So I stamped it off just a little bit so it wasn't quite a bright, bright black. And I could have used the Woodwick color. That would have come through a little more muted as well. But I think this looks really good. And I just, just stamping it on there to, to give it a different look. This paper is mostly writing all over it. It is from Zazzle, and I will link that down in my descri description, description, description box, and there'll be a link to my store that's on there, and I will have that in there so that you can see the full uh, picture of it. It has the flowers up in the corner, and I used those for something else, so I had this piece, and I thought that I would continue on using it because I really like the writing on it. So I just added a light coat of Mod Podge and I'm gonna stick the paper down and I'm not sure if you can tell, but you can see the crackle that I put on underneath through the paper lightly and I think that gives it a cool look. I then added a thin coat of Mod Podge over the top of the paper just to the edges. I will be trimming those once it is dry. taking some antique wax and adding that to the top once my top is dry and I'm going to just give it a little bit of an aged look around the edges a little bit darker and then as it goes in it's a little bit lighter but you still have that brownish yellowish tint and so I just go all the way around brushing into my piece instead of out from my piece and then um, going to wipe it back. And that's gonna give it a nice antiqued look, aged look, and adds to the romantic part of it. Now I don't show it, but I also paint the heart uh, screening in there. I'll, 
black color and then I actually go around the edges as well because it just just didn't quite look very good uh, without it. I just like the darker in there. So while I had my black paint brush out, I added that to my edges to give it some distressing. I didn't want to distress back to the white. So I just went around that with my just a little little bit of black paint and then it's all finished. Because I liked that other wall hanging so much, the wall decor, I think I'm going to do this shop project, which I think is what this is. I think I'm going to do this the same way, and I'm going to use the same paper and put that on to this. I think it gives it such a nice kind of a romantic look. I really like it, so I think I'm going to do the same thing. So first... Let's see, do I want to put it on the front or on the ends? I think you want to put it on the front. So what I need to do is sand this a little bit because it does have some shiny spots. I did kind of clean it, but geez, it doesn't really look it. It's rough in some spots, but um, I like, I just like it. I think it's like a remote holder or something like that. But of course I'm gonna make it like a flower caddy or just some greenery or something like that. So first thing I'm gonna do is sand it down, just scuff it up a little bit and get rid of some of the shininess. And then I will start with the paint. Okay, got it all sanded down. Now I'm gonna paint the inside first with the Fusion Woodwick color. The only thing that's going to be the light color is the two sides here and the other side so that I can um, decoupage the paper over the top. Okay, so I'm going to try and fit the paper as much as I possibly can onto the front because I have just these two sides here. So I want to make sure that that's going to fit on there pretty good. I'm going to have a little bit of overlap here, but I think my razor will go in there pretty good. And then I'll have to cut this little scoop out that's here. And then I'll do, I'll cut out another piece for the other side. First, what I want to do is take my um, stamp and add some black paint. Hopefully there's some on this brush. Enough. I don't really see it. Hang on.
there we go. Put in my little uh, crackle pieces so when I put my paper down, you can see it through the paper. It just gives it another little bit of a dimension to the paper. And then we'll get those to dry and then I can put my paper on. Okay, I'm going to add my Mod Podge just to the white part. Make sure I go all the way to the edge so it sticks. And then I'm going to line up, kind of line up one side. I don't think it's straight. And then I just put some Mod Podge on my brush and brush the top. And I try to brush out some of those wrinkles. I don't mind the wrinkles. A few. There we go. Just give it a nice coat over the top. And then we'll let that dry and then we can trim off the edges and the top and bottom. So I'm just gonna go down between this crack here and make a nice cut, nice even cut. Same on this side. I can find the Once I got all the paper trimmed up the way I liked it, I took my antique wax and went around the edges to just age it a little bit and give it a nice look. And then I took my wet black paintbrush and just went around the edges to give it a little bit of distress. I didn't want to dis just uh, sand it back, so I just distressed it with the black. It makes it look nice and gives it a little more dimension too. Thank you so much for watching my thrift flips. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.